Uh, dear students, in this uh, very short tutorial, we will talk about uh, heat of solution. It's a very simple concept, and it is uh, denoted with uh, delta H solution. It could be an endothermic process, or it could be an exothermic process. It's like when you dissolve a salt in a solvent like water, uh, either heat will be evolved or heat will be absorbed as a result of its dissolution. In order to uh, have an understanding, we must look into the process. There are two processes involved. The first one is the breakdown of the latest crystal latest. Like if it is calcium chloride solid, its latest will be shattered into calcium ions and chloride ions. In order to do that, energy will be required. And this is latest energy. It's an endothermic process. Second step is when the ions are formed, uh, the solvent molecules will solvate the solute ions. The process is called solvation. If the solvent is water, then it will be referred to as hydration. And hydration is an exothermic phenomena. So summing these two steps together, it could result either in an endothermic or an exothermic process. Say for example we have calcium chloride. The latest energy for calcium chloride is 2258 kilojoule per mole. Energy required to break down the latest into its calcium and chloride ions. When these ions are formed, they are surrounded, they are solvated by water molecules, they are hydrated with water molecule and attraction between water molecules and calcium ions produces uh, this much energy an exothermic process. Uh, similarly, for each chloride ion, 364 kilojoule per mole energy is released uh, as a result of hydration. Uh, summing all these steps together, we, we have 120 kilojoule per mole energy that is released. So we can say the dissolution of calcium chloride is a process which is an exothermic. So delta H will be negative overall. So we have got uh, uh, different examples here. Uh, these are for the uh, endothermic changes, different salts when they are dissolved in water, the result, net result will be an endothermic change. And similarly, we have got some examples for the exothermic processes like lithium chloride, lithium nitrate and sodium hydroxide, respective uh, heat of solutions are also given. Con Including this, we can say if in dissolution of a salt, if the latest energy is high or higher as compared to hydration energy, the net result of heat of solution will be endothermic. And if the hydration energy is high as compared to latest energy, then the net heat of solution will be exothermic. 